and welcome to Toto TCG. You're here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with the first of our Unified Minds videos where we check out one of the gameplays from the first day. Now, we did indeed pull a Heatran, which is what we are starting with right there. We have also got a Tapu Fini on my opponent's end. Uh, I think we both had the Tapu Fini um, promo. We've got a Lily there for a few cards as well. We're diving straight in here, guys. We're not not wasting any time. We want to uh, jump in with this gameplay here. We've attached a fire for turn. It looks as if we pass there. Uh, both of us have a Snow Run. There looks to be a Meditite on the bench there. And a Water Energy going on to that Tapu Fini. Um, we've got a 20 damage, but because obviously we're weak, that is 40 instead. So a nice way to start off. Looker to get three from the bottom of our deck. Always nice during a pre-release. Double checking what we got. We've got a Frost Lass Evolution there. That goes straight down. Probably going to attach another Fire Energy, I'd say, to the Heatran. Yep, there we go. And... Oh, there's a Pokemaniac there. Would we play that? Or... No, we can't because we've just played Looker. So it looks as if we've uh, swapped over. Now, to attack with 130, we'd need to have three Energy. So we'll have that next turn. Frost last for my opponent as well, and a how there for three. It looks as if he's got another Meditite. He's put a Medita uh, Medicham down, and there's also a Black Belt there. Or is it a Karate Belt? Um, but uh, that basically gives one fighting less. Another energy, though, going on to that Tapu Fini. And I think that Karate Belt, yeah, that's it. Karate Belt did go down. Um, so more energy... More en no, yeah... <laughs> more damage being done to us there we're on 80 damage now um, and another energy so we'll be able to do that 130 there looks as if we're playing Pokemaniac now we did have two um, two Pokemon with four retreat in total and they're two fire Pokemon and guess where they are oh yeah they are definitely in our prizes that was uh, Nummel and Camerupt they both had four retreat so I was trying to get both of them out so we could start getting that built up uh, we've got another Snow Runs on the bench there. Maybe another Frost Lass in hand for next turn. There looks to be a Hoot Hoot in, in the, the uh, hand as well. Probably not going to play that down just yet. Nice way of obviously using uh, Pokecom to uh, get rid of that. But we're getting a knockout there. 130 for a knockout on the Tapu Fini. Uh, looks as if he is going to be bringing up the Medicham there. We've already got 80 on there. And I think I'm pretty sure that it's 190 in total. So this is going to be a knockout regardless. Um as long as he can get one energy onto the Medicham, which he's already got. Meditite coming down on the bench there. Energy coming down there, so he will be able to get the knockout there. And that's two prizes for him, which isn't exactly ideal. Because that puts him in a really big advantage there. He's just double-checking exactly what it does there. Giving him one less fighting. And he goes for the knockout there. So that's three energies all gone. And the Heatran GX gone. Frost last though coming up there. There's another that's an Ordino and a Hoot Hoot going down there. We've got a Frost Lass Evolution on the bench as well. Water energy maybe gonna get attached there. Yep, probably gonna go for a knockout there with six damage counters getting placed on there for 120 damage in total, which is enough to knock out the Medicham with 110. So my opponent then bringing up the Frost Lass as well. There's a Munchlax going down there. That is the exact amount of energy that is uh, needed. Um, looks as if he's got a Blues Tactics coming down there. There's a Snorrant on the bench there. Four in hand there, so he'd probably be able to draw four more cards from that. Yeah, he is going to go for the knockout there. And I think in total, I think he actually used the second attack there, which is what he's just telling me about now. Because both of the attacks are only for one water. The other one does 40 damage, which would have been enough to knock us out. And I think it does put you asleep. Yeah. So he's drawing until he's got four there. Uh, sorry, drawing until he's got eight, sorry. Um, and he's only got one prize now. So fairly quick game here, because obviously that Heatran has given up big, big prizes there. So we're just double checking what we want to put up next. Knowing fully that without any damage on this thing, we're probably going to get KO'd here. Uh, there's a copycat in hand, which might be ideal, because I think he's got about nine cards in hand now, possibly. 
but there's a possible Blizzard Town going to be played down. Might be able to stop <coughs> the Frostlass from doing its thing. There's a Pokecom as well, which might not work. And I think I just asked how many of you got in hand. <coughs> and there's a Copycat coming down there. So shuffling all of them in. Let's see how, what we can do from here. Probably, hopefully, looking for a water energy here so we can carry on doing the attacks here. Not that I think it's going to cause a lot of disruption here. There's eight there. So we can probably put down that Ordino. Yep. And a water energy would probably be attached. There's a Kangaskhan hollow that we got going down there. Water energy being attached there. Enough that we need. I think we only need four damage counters in total to knock that out. Or are we going to go for the 40 and put it asleep? I think it is asleep. And he's just going to roll to see if he wakes up. And there it is. Boom. And that would have been a evens. So he is awake. Which is great because he can just get. He, he can't really get a knockout on us, or can he? No, he can't. He can only put 70 damage counters on him, so he can only put three, which wouldn't be enough. But he, I think he's got retreat here. If he puts that karate belt down. Put the karate belt down. Put the karate belt down. There it is. And I think Frostlass has got at least one retreat. Maybe two, but then there is a U-turn board there as well. But no, he's going to go for the 40 damage and sleep. And we do wake up, which is good. And there's Giant Hearth coming down there. A very interesting stadium. Helps get your fire energies out of your deck and into your hand. Water energy there being attached to the Ordino there. <coughs> and I think we're going to go for a knockout there. But I think we know that he can just bring that up straight away. And he's got a KO anyway. Attaches that regardless. And that's going to be a knockout on that for game one. There we go. Very, very quick. Very, very simple. But it works. And that was the exact same cards that we got. Um, you know, we did have the Metatype Metacham. We didn't run that in the end. Carried on with the Ordino, though, that we got. I think we pulled another one as well. So that was quite useful. Um, but the Heatran not really serving too much purpose there. Definitely wanted to try and pull off the GX just for a bit of fun. But uh, wasn't 100% successful at the moment. So shuffling up ready for our next next bout. Let's call it that. Seeing what we can do. Seeing if we can get a win. <laughs> a win would be good. A win would be good. Just seem to be trading prize cards there. Not a lot of uh, stuff going on. But... Uh, we will definitely see what is going on next. Okay, so my opponent's drawing into... Ooh, that might be a hooper there. I don't know whether that's a reverse or a hollow. I'm pretty sure that is a hooper. There's an Ordino there, which is going to help with drawing. There is a dark Pokemon, so who knows? That might actually have been that hooper. We'll have a little look now when we, sw when we swap over. So we've got a Snorunt. Yeah, that is a Hooper. Okay, cool. Um, is it a reverse? It might be a reverse. Pretty nice. So reverse Hooper and Ordino are my opponent's side, whereas we've got a Snorunt. We've got the Giant Hearth coming out there. And Looker for the bottom three cards. Place that down, get a few energies, maybe a Trainer or something for next turn. Ooh, what's that? Oh, a Hoot Hoot. Why not put the hoot hoot down? Fire energy being attached to the hoot hoot as well. And I think I'm just gonna pass it over, yep. Okay, so So a bug catcher coming out there, and then you roll and if you get heads then you are going to be drawing another two cards, so not bad. And we got some more Pokemon coming down now onto the bench there. Does he have a Pokecom? He did have a Poke, uh, Poke Communication. 
could always use that to get the Medicham, but he's going to use Hearing, the ability from Ordino, to draw one card and attach to the Hooper with a Fighting. And that's going to finish him off. We got a Cryogonal going down on the bench there. Nice cheeky 10 damage and stopping your opponent from using items. Bug Catcher coming out there for draw 2. Roll to see if we get heads. We don't. Only 2 cards from that, but that's all good. Looks as if we got a Blizzard Town in hand. Can't use any more supporters at the moment. But the energy goes on and we pass over for turn. So he's got the Medicham, got the Karate Belt. Hopefully he's got the he has got the energies as well, so we can place that down as well. That is ready to go. If only he had a U-turn board. He's gonna possibly use the, yeah, Blues Tactics coming down there for those four there. And if you could get a U-turn board or probably an energy, that'd be really good. He's just camping this there. We put down a Kangas Khan there and fire energy as well. And we're gonna use the big giant hearth discarding Blizzard Town to find two fire energies. Nice way of speeding that up. And shuffling. Pop that down. Okay, so we got several fire energies here. I think I know what I was planning to do here. I'm obviously planning to stall my opponent as much as possible, but building up the energies on my other Pokemon, because as soon as I put Heatran GX into the active from the bench. It drags every fire energy onto it. And then the GX ability becomes pretty cool. Because if we use blue tac uh, Blue's Tactics anyway. There's a Taurus coming down on my opponent's bench as well as another energy. And there was a Frostlass as well coming down there. Uh, using Hearing there. And placing down the Komala. Is he going to use Pokecom? Does he really need to? Probably not. He's just keeping that Ordino up there. There's another Ordino on our bench. And there's Evolve into... Frostalas, yep. And are we going to get another Fire Energy going down? Probably. Because we know that Ordino can just sit there for a little bit longer. We're still looking for that Heatran. Uh, looks as if we're just going to pass over. Opponent draws for turn. Another energy in hand. Probably be able to place that straight down on to... I mean, he could go for a bit of an attack here, maybe, if you wanted to retreat the Ordino. Water energy going down onto that. And just figuring out what he wants to do next. Might be a trainer there. That's another Blues Tactics coming down as well. But it also looks as if he's going to retreat into, of course, his main attacker, Medicham. Who's going to be able to get a knockout easily on Frostlass. And he's going to be able to draw into several cards now from his hand. I think he's got five. Now he's got six. So he'd have to draw one or two. Two. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're just deciding what we want to go with. Because, of course, if we place something up that we can retreat. So, we're drawing into. What's that? Oh, that's. Is that Pokemon? Yeah, it is. So, Tapu Finny coming down there as well. With the Ordino at the front. There's the hearing ability coming out there as well. We've got a copycat as well. That could be pretty interesting to use. Maybe go for... Oh, is that our Recycle Energy there? You're going to put it on Ordino? Because if we retreat it, I think we can just grab that back. Because it doesn't go in the discard pile. No, it goes on the Tapu Finny. That's fine, because obviously it does have double water colourless. Or just colourless nevertheless, which is uh, pretty sweet. So we are going with our Pokemaniac there to find our Evolution Pokemon. The Heatran is in the deck, which is good. But it looks as if we're only grabbing the normal, so Camera Up must be prized. Great. Two two games in a row, and Camera Up is in the prizes. Of course it is. So Pokemaniac doing semi okay there. But now we've got a full bench, that's the only thing. So a Heatran coming down is going to be a little bit awkward. 
So our opponent's going to go for a water energy onto the frost last there. He too can't put much down. <clears throat> but he is going to go for the knockout on the Ordino. Easily done. So another prize taken there. And we're bringing up the Tapu Fini now. Drawing into a fire energy it looks like. Are we going to play... Oh no, we did get the camera up. Okay, camera up did come down. Or maybe we just... Where did the camera up come from? Okay, it must have been my hand. Um, are we going to do for a copycat? Probably, because he's got quite a few. Yeah, he's counting them now. Yeah, copycat coming down there. Nice way of hopefully trying to get into that Heatran. Maybe also get into a U-turn board as well, which would be good. So we can place the U-turn board down. Bring up the Heatran. Grab those four fire energies here. That's the, that's the dream here. And then hopefully get somewhere with that. But there is that frost lass on the bench. That's the only thing to worry about. Did we get it? There's a U-turn board. Did we get the Heatran? I think that is a Heatran. That looks Heatran-esque. That is Heatran. Okay. So are we going to retreat with the Tapu Finny into it? This is the interesting thing. So yeah, Tapu Finny is going to be coming up there, bringing up this. The ability activates, so we can grab all four of those fire engines that we've stored. Place them onto that, so if we did want to use the GX, we could do, which would be 200 damage in total. Or we could do the 130, which would knock him out. The only snag is, is that he's got a Frostlass on the bench. And that's going to easily be able to get a KO there. So that going straight down there, boom. And up comes the Frostlass. Oh, this is going to be it. He's pokey coming, and he's getting rid of a snow Runt. Doesn't go in the discard pile, but he's looking for something else in there. Maybe that meta tight. And shuffle it with his hand. Probably a little bit difficult to shuffle without some sleeves. Always best to have some sleeves, guys. Always best. Just in case you do pull anything good as well, you know. Got to keep those cards in nice and mint condition. But the Meditite coming down there. The Medicham in hand. Energy being put on there as well. Starting to bulk that up as well. Ready to go. Now. I know as well as you that this is going to get a knockout. But he is he's doing 40. No, he's not. And I think at this point I was saying, look, you've got game. I think he was going to do 40 and put me asleep. I said, you've got game. Just take it, honestly. Um, so, yeah, overall, not exactly the most ideal g game to show. But I think it shows what can be done. And... Uh, Definitely Medicham is something to look out for if you've got any pre-releases coming up. Make sure to plop it in there. If you get some karate belts, happy days. Plonk them in there as well. But some good stuff there. Always interesting to find out if GXs are any good. In this case, not so good. But with the powering up, you've just got to go with it. But yeah, I mean, overall, we can uh, leave it here for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, we will have more pre-releases coming up next Saturday, so I'll be able to get the video out then for you. Uh, might have a few throughout the week, you never know. I think I've got some spare videos that I can uh, give you guys during the week. But uh, yeah, apart from that, I'll leave it here for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel.